Okay, I'm going to start with a protein data bank tutorial. And basically what I'm going to do today is go through some of the basics of downloading a PDB file, uh, doing some really easy manipulations, and then just kind of looking at the sequence a little bit. So it's just a quick intro. Um, the first thing uh, I do when I, I need a protein data bank file is go to the protein data bank website. And that's uh, located at rcsb.org. And it just contains a, a regular search engine, so you can search by keyword or author. And I've already done a search for malic dehydrogenase. And once you do your search, you'll get a bunch of hits. And once you have your hits, basically you just go to this arrow, um, and that'll download the file for you right onto your desktop. So once you've done that, um, you can actually open it up. And today we'll be using uh, a software called PyMole. OK, so I've got it downloaded. I'm going to open up PyMole. OK. And PyMole is really awesome software. It's available free for um, Mac or, or PC. I'm going to be using it on a PC today. And it's phenomenal software. Um, most of the major papers, the images you'll see in those major papers come from PyMole a lot of the time. It's, so it's, it's, the, it's actually the software that the pros use. So the first thing I'm going to do with this protein, it's kind of weird, I'm just going to hide everything. and to manipulate everything on the screen, you can just go under this All heading, and I'm going to hide uh, everything. So that clears the canvas for us, uh, so to speak. And then I'm going to go to Show, and you can actually show it in ribbon or cartoon form. Uh, I like to show it in cartoon form the most, so that's what I'm going to go to. Okay, so there's our protein in cartoon form. And what I'll do after I, I get it in cartoon form is I'll hit this little S button right at the bottom of the screen. And what the S button does is it just brings up the amino acid sequence uh, from 3 until the end of the protein. So it starts with the N termini on the left side and the, um, the C termini all the way on the right hand side. And on the right hand side, You'll also notice um, the substrates way on the far right-hand side. And in this case, these substrates actually correspond to what the protein binds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight both of those. And you can kind of faintly see some pink uh, dots. And what these dots correspond to are highlighted residues or substrates or anything you've highlighted. So I'm going to uh, show these, actually in sphere form just to get a better visual of uh, where the substrate is in the protein. Okay, so it's it's highlighted for me and I'm just going to rotate the protein around just to get a better look. Okay, and in PyMole uh, you can rotate just by simply clicking and, and kind of dragging. You'll get a good feel for it uh, after you've done it for a little while. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, color the substrate a little differently. I'm just going to color it. Um, you just hit this the C button. It's acting up a little bit on me. Okay. And I'm just going to color it a solid color. Just to be able to see it a little bit better. Okay. And in the next tutorial, I'll go over a little bit more on um, manipulating your protein and um, getting it to look a little bit better.